Welcome to 2022, our year of great increase, as prophesied by our prophet, Pastor Jimmy Masharian. This is the Octod SharePoint, a platform where you will listen to the Word of God, uplift your soul, and edify your life. For your mercy never fails me all my days. Sing it out. I've been held in your hand. Come on, raise those hands and wash it from the moment that I wake up until, until I lay my head. Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Come on, if he has been faithful to you, just tell him. All my life you have been so, so good with every breath, with every breath that I am made. Oh, I will sing, oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. I love your voice. I love your voice. You have you are buried through the fire in darkest night. You are closer. You are close like no other. I know you as a father. I know you as a father. I know you as a friend. Oh my life you have 
being fed. Come on, church, open your mouths and sing. All my life you have been so, so good. With every breath, with every breath that I am playing. Oh, I will sing. Oh, I will sing. Of the goodness. Of the goodness. Church, I want to hear you sing without the band. All my life, all my life you've been playing. We can do one more time. Oh, everybody say, all my life you have been faithful. Oh, all my life. All my life you have been so, so good. With every breath. Father, thank you for being so good. We're here just to give you all the glory and all the honor. We don't take it for granted to be alive. Yes. It's because of your goodness yes. and your mercy yes. that I knew every morning. Yes. Lord, we even thank you for this amazing day today yes. that we are alive. Yes. All we've come to say is thank you. Thank you. In the few yes. minutes that we have, speak to us. May your word come forth with power and clarity. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory and we give you all the honor. Yes, In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Why don't you give the Lord a mighty shout? Make the devil angry by giving the Lord a mighty shout. Is that enough for King Jesus? Hands above your head. Give him a praise. Hallelujah. Beautiful. So last week we can't. We learned on something. Something powerful. If you want if you are not here, please go and listen to the sermon. It's uploaded on YouTube and also on Telegram. And we were learning on why people are barren. And we said because they are blind and they are short sighted. And you are learning on your blindness because you are blind to hell. You are not eternity minded. And we looked at the rich man and Lazarus. Are you together? Do you remember the points? And we said there are only two destinations. How many? How many? It's either heaven or hell. Then we learned that there are at least one rich man in hell and it's not a parable it's a story so far there's one rich man so if your goal on this earth is to become rich you will be we will all become wealthy you're not saying amen. amen but just remember there's at least one rich man in hell and jesus said it is so hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom it's like a camel. Do you know a camel? It's easier for a camel. It's a camel trying to go through the eye of a needle. It's so difficult. You know? So today I want us to learn something. Can we learn something? Obstacles to bearing fruit. We are still on Matthew 22 verse 14. Many are called obstacles to bearing fruit why are you not bearing fruit why you've been in church for so long and you're not bearing fruit (laughs) 
obstacles to what? To bearing fruit. And there are many obstacles. You will find yourself, I believe. So number one, there are so many, but we will deal with what we can deal. Then maybe God willing next Saturday. Number one. What is the first obstacle? Number one. You must overcome spiritual sickness in order to bear fruit. Can I repeat? You must overcome spiritual sickness in order to bear fruit. You must overcome spiritual sickness. Please, when you come to church, have a notebook. I am not uh, Iron Man or Teletubbies or uh, Coco Melon. That you're, you're just looking at me. This is not Akmax. <laughs> you know, when you write, you, you, you master what you've written. That's why when you are learning, you write down. That's why you have assignments of writing down notes. As you write down, you get to learn. So if you write notes in school, why are you not writing notes in church? Look at your neighbor who has nothing. Ask your neighbor, show me your notes, show me your notes. I want to see your notes. You're the people when you ask, what did you learn? Eh, na kwambia, we, 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 we. Fire for fire, hata na kwambia. Atu walisama enjoyment. So listen, the reason why some Christians do not bear fruit is because they are not healthy. You know? When a woman is sick, she cannot give birth. So some people are like pregnant women who are, who are sick. That's why there is nothing they can give. You're a man and you're a eunuch. You've been castrated. The thing has been chopped off. The engine is not performing. There's no action. No rising, no activity, no nothing. Sit down, sit down, sit down. Akuna msimamo. So that's why you're not bearing fruit. Because you're sick. Blank shots. You know, we were learning on eunuchs in the palace. Was it King Hezekiah? Who was the king who took the people around? King Hezekiah. He took people around and showed them his his palace, his possessions, everything that he had, his gold, everything. Then when Isaiah, was it Isaiah? Yes. yes. When Isaiah asked him, what have you shown these visitors? He said, I showed them everything. There is nothing I have not showed them. Then he said, well, Isaiah told him, now your children will be eunuchs. There will be eunuchs in the palace. Now a eunuch is someone who has been castrated. Can I teach you some science? No, art students are blank. It's like you're now. Tee. Now, when you've been castrated, when you're a eunuch, there is something in men called testosterone. <laughs> called what? Teste? Now, when you're castrated, when it is cut off, it means that testosterone are not active. So, what that means, you have no desire. You have no feelings. If it is cut from a young age, it means there will, be, there will never be beards. You will never have, uh, you will always have soprano. 
Don't accuse people. Sit down. So listen to this. Hey, listen. Someone who's a eunuch feels nothing. Now, eunuchs were used, they were bathing queens. So when the queen is bathing, it's a eunuch who will bathe the queen. Because they have no feelings. They will tell the queen, turn kidogo, inama, inua, nioshe vizu. Because they feel nothing. See, please, it's me preaching. Sit down, sit down. And they are men, but they feel nothing. Minus you in Jesus' name. Look at God. Sit down. So they had nothing because they have no desire. You know, you should be thanking God. If you're a lady and you see a man and you feel something, you should thank the Lord. It's a blessing. See, I want to look at people. If you're a man and when you see a lady, you feel, you feel, you feel something, something. You should thank the Lord. It's a blessing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's not a problem. Sit down. Because in the generation that we are in right now, is ladies when they look at ladies, they feel that way, and it's an error. You see a man with beards looking at another man and they. Minus you in Jesus' mighty name. So sit down. I'm explaining. I've not even started preaching. This is not part of preaching. Now I was telling you that when you're a eunuch, you have no desire. No zeal, no interest, no curiosity. You know how you are curious? You know even how right now how you're curious? If we enter your minds, yeah? if we enter, we open your mind and see what you think. Five minutes ago, the Department of Imagination. When we open the folder, <laughs> sit down. Sit down. <laughs> so, if you are sick, you cannot bear fruit because of spiritual sickness. That's the reason you have no fruit. You are sick. Number one sickness that I will deal with today is laziness. Laziness. Stay in laziness. Even when a man and a woman want to get a baby, it cannot just happen. There has to be some work that has been put. There has to be hard work. With passion. With zeal. Everywhere. Single people are talking. Sit down. Oh my God. Sit, sit down. Sit down. How do you know? How do they know? But it entails hard work. If you are lazy, there is nothing in this world that you will do. Nothing. Lazy. How you walk? Lazy. How you talk? Lazy. Walking? Talking? Yeah, yeah. Skinny me choker. Asubui. Eight. Hey, was any me choker? We are choker as I'm being lazy. And you say you want to be wealthy. How? How will you be? You're in daughter. Naita Timika. You're in school. You're lazy. 
Usome. Mwenye anasema hivyo hata anamjua. Laziness, say laziness. You are young. 16, 17, 20, 25. Yeah, you are lazy. Waking up, you wake up five processes to wake up. There is the waking up bit. Itching the eye. Yoni. <laughs> Regretting. <laughs> Then you wake up you open Instagram or TikTok. You charge your phone all night. By 9 it is zero. You have not even confirmed if you can talk. Umeingia to TikTok. Your work is movies. Series and TikTok. You wake up at 12 p.m. 12:30. And you say I, I don't do breakfast, I do brunch. Hauna pesa unaamka saa sita. Hakuna mtu kwenu anacheza golf na unaamka saa sita. Na na usikii vibaya. Wewe tu ni draft tu unajua ya pekele. Na unaamka saa sita. Unacheza kwa kwa line ya visa na unaamka saa sita. 12 pm. Sim card you've registered with your mother and you're waking up at 1 pm. 1 pm. Sit down, sit down, sit down. You don't even have a bank account and you wake up at 2 pm. Very very confident 2 pm you're woken up. Uje ona 10000 pamoja. Eh? Zimeshikana hivi you've never seen 10000 imeshikana hivi. Na mkurugenzi anayeamka ni President Kingston eh? Saa 3 pm. Ah. I I greet you. Mwenyekiti. Why you sing sit down? Why you sing uh, when the president was being inaugurated? When a president comes in. Sikie wa Kenya. Jiunge nami kumsherekea rais wa Gabon. That's how it's you at home. Anaingia sebuleni. Then when you wake up at 2. Yeah. Kwani mama kuna blue band 2 pm. My friend you have beards. Just here. And you ask for blue band. Mama kuna tissue. Nisaidie lotion yako mama yangu imeisha. You are a man 25 years and above. Daddy nisaidie gilet yako. Mama kuna ulipi wifi? Sit down. It's an error. Look, there is nothing you can accomplish in this earth if you are lazy. Nothing. Even in business. You know in high school you are told wake up early. When you finish school you will not be waking up early. You will be waking up late. Oh, can I tell you something? It's a lie. It's a scam. Wongo. <laughs> Look, wait, sit down. When I was in high school, that's what they used to tell us. That's what they used to tell us. Right now, wake up early. When you finish school in campus, you will sleep. Eh? You will be watching all the movies in the world. They'll tell you in high school, I don't date. 
when you go to campus, all the girls are there. Hey, all the boys are there. Or did you later? Sit down, sit down. Also, you're in for the single. Also, you're in for the single. In every level, things get tougher. Right now, you're, you're struggling with chemistry. When you go to campus, you'll struggle with something else. Not, not per se struggle, but you'll be battling something else. Group discussions, group work, projects, lecturer has gone with your marks, missing marks, retakes, you know, uh, when you, in, in high school, when you fail, you failed. In campus, when you fail, you have to repeat. The exam, you pay for it. <laughs> no, we are online. But I've paid for many of my exams myself. Because I saw I failed. I'm like, how can I give this report? Then after you finish campus, you go start working. You're needed at work by 8. No, no, you wrong guy. Then when you think these guys who um, they are successful, when you think Job Bezo, Mike Zuckerberg, when you look at the time they wake up, you see they wake up at four, at five. Where were we? Simu ulipewa na mamako. Twelve p.m. You've woken up. There's nothing you've bought for yourself. At a boxer. But you wake up. At 2, 2 p.m. Car manager. You're lazy. You can't wake up and pray. Prayer is hard work. Who said prayer is easy? Prayer is hard work. Praying to someone who is not saying anything back to you. You cannot see. If there was a screen and you're looking at God when you're praying, oh Lord, you're lovely, then he does like this. You will flow. But you, you, you're praying to someone you can't. in the house of the Lord. Where you know how you where you shout. Unajua penye unapiganga nduru. Pride, say pride. I told you, God calls people who have nothing to offer. Look, never feel in this world like you are someone. More so in the presence of the Lord, never feel like you are someone. You will not worship. You will not raise your hands. When it's worship time, you always feel like people will look at you. When in none? 2,000 followers on Instagram. Now you've arrived. Now what are you Hindi? Every post. Wangdo, welcome to my tutorial. Wahindi wote kwa page yako 15k wote wahindi All of them have do you know let me tell you they are what we call spam spam accounts So all of them are hindi Send me a video dancing Now because you have 2000 5000 followers so she uambiliki umefika Walking style in a change. You may pick a picture of a swimmer. You may pick a picture of a swimmer. You may pick a picture Make a king keep with any dread. Look, 
unavaa bushori Look if you are so conscious the bible says my not high things it's romans 12:17 my not high things you're so conscious of your looks make up you look like angry birds umedunga uso yako yote masikio ai hapa i met a lady who had pierced here When you are employed when they look at you they even scared We pierce hapa katikati ya macho I won't say where else you've uh, pierced but you know <laughs> Bible says mind not high things Bible says be of the same mind toward one another do not set your mind on high things You're always concerned about what high things how you will be big how you be pompous how you have big boobs big bumps that's what you want that's all you desire when you wake up you have to go to the mirror and confirm how many inches baby i'm coming your desire is to be rich and famous to be a billionaire those are the things you desire then after that what else Yeah oh this the high things i want to live in a big house out of a beautiful wife trophy wife you want a girlfriend ndo kitembea na eko street watu wajoeni nani kila siku my king my queen oh my king oh my quick my king has woken up oh how lovely she is oh wow my bae You know you have to put her on your Instagram better half at so and so foolishness Now you feel like you've arrived because you have a girlfriend mtu wangu High school mtaachana Sakuja tu kukutukuhaga ukiachana No kule mandazi Fresh air Unaita lecturer teacher You've entered Kampu just last week. You have a boyfriend. Look, let me tell you. Maybe high schoolers you think that in campus there's dating. They told us right now, st- study. When you go to campus, all the girls are there. All the boys are there. Eh? When you enter campus, will you study or look for girls? You study. Wewe mwenyewe hata uelewi timetable. Hata ujui lecturer. You don't even know where the hall is. You don't know how to live by yourself. You're in a hostel. There are so many things. Then you add a boyfriend and a girlfriend. Those are two courses. Mind not high. I not high things. Mimi I only want to have an iPhone 14. iPhone 14. Mtu wangu Android yako unikopa. All you do is copa credit, copa credit, copa credit, copa credit. We, you are bought a phone today, tomorrow it has cracks. Na kama tu welding. Your phone looks like a cobweb. Your aim is only high things. You know Satan desire to sit. He wanted to be the big shot. So if you have these traits and you only want high things, it's good to have a desire a good life. But the Bible says seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things. The money, the cars, the whatever you want, they'll be added. But you you're busy chasing money. You're busy chasing money. Yeah. can I have some few people I'm finishing Ah okay don't no, no one else should come Now in this life Now these people are so many This one looks like money Yes 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 No let him be a house Okay yeah he can be a house 
So he is a house. Who can be a car? Baraka, aya. Nanya na ka pesa apa? Pastor Flo, Pastor Flo. Oh, Pastor P, yeah, 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 yeah. Coat with many colors. So we can, these are children. What else? Career, school. There are many things. Now, now this is an example of you. What happens is this brother, he wants all this. He wants a wife. He wants money. He wants houses. Oh, you don't want. He wants success. A bit empty and he wants all that. Now, the, the, the thing is, when you start, when you look for it, you'll never find it. So, I want you to run. And you try chasing. Oh, yeah, Mrs. Mama. This is you. You are chasing things. You are chasing things. Do you me amka? Atende amunyonge. Atamshika kidogo then yende. You are chasing money. You are chasing things. You will never find. Kuna dili neigiana. Do you do you do you neigiana? I neigiana. I me potea. Kuna kadem flani kade itikia leo. Ana anguka. Kuna dem leo ni kimuende ata itikia. Tavuta. Kono na kimbilia mroki we we bana <laughs> unakuwa confused. This is you not seeking the kingdom of God first. Now what happens is the brother says I'm tired, comes to seek the face of the Lord, come to the altar. He comes and seeks the face of the Lord. He said, Ah, I am tired. He starts serving. Then when he serves, the Bible says, when you seek first the kingdom of God, everything else shall be added. Now you will not be chasing it, but they will be following you. Now as he's walking, all those things are following him. All those things are following him. Actually, come, come brother, come brother. You, know, you never find everything at one go. They are in different places. So go, go to where you are. Stand in different positions. So he was seeking the Lord. He was seeking the Lord because when you seek the Lord, they don't just come. It's not like microwave. So as you're in the journey with the Lord, you know, dealing with God, God is a God of participation. That as you are walking with Him, as you are serving Him, you are participating. You start collecting the things. A car comes to you. Ah, uh, uh, wait, Gadi, Achilia. When you are in the journey, you are in the journey. Your career is following you. You have that was a house. You have a house. Tafta Bibi Akwapi. Aya, aya, aya. When you say yes, when you go and approach, she says yes. The wife follows. Continue, 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 continue. Are you seeing how it's getting easy? Everything is following. You will attack iPhone sana. You now have it. Are you, have you collected? Continue walking. Now you see they are following. Look, look, they are following him. Are you following? I came to prophesy to you. As you seek the Lord, may all these things follow you. May all the things that you desire follow you. As you follow God first. When you seek the Lord, you'll go collecting them. Step by step. Look, look. As he walks. Last my pesa in Fuate. Gani. Bibi ya Fuate nyuma. Nyumba. Look, and maybe at that time, listen, at that time, I can also give you another revelation. Manyumba, manyamaze. The Bible says, mind not high things. You're a girl, you have so much high standards. I want a man with a car, a BMW. I want an apartment now. Maybe when the brother was looking for purposes of illustration, I know the wife. Maybe when the brother was looking for the wife, maybe I want a kakitu sana. But as they are seeking the Lord together, 
all these things they follow them together so as they are walking the money the cars the prosperity all of them the children they are following him the the house the house has to follow that shall be your portion only if you seek the lord only if you say i will serve the lord i will not be proud i will not sit down it's high time you start doing something in the house of the lord all these things cannot happen to you and you just sit down there's nothing you do in the house of the lord you just sit and warm our seats and pollute and chew decide and say i will do something tell about my my neighbor i will decide to do something in the house of the lord you've never given your life to christ you're only chasing money you're chasing girls no one una kataliwa mahangaiko sit down thank you you may have your seats clap for them as you seek the lord what i'm trying to tell you i want you to bear fruit i want you to have something that you will tell the lord lord at least i did this for you i have fruit i am not a tree that did not bear any fruit i have some mangoes i have some apples i have some grapes i have some i have five people that i've been working with i have some ten i led this one to christ i led this one to christ i have something to show you have nothing nothing to show only your makeup kila siku na jichora tattoo we can't differentiate what's a birthmark and what's a tattoo every time ink 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 piercing one time is the last story i finish there was a guy in, in high school he always wanted piercing so there was one guy who pierced his uh lower lip eh? it's called a snake bite i don't know kid we need a snake bite so the guy pierced here he did it at home professionally so he had a piercing here so he had a certain thing that he used to put here it looked cool so one guy because of minding high things and social conformity He said I will also pierce myself. So he took a sewing needle and said today I will pierce myself. Took his lip. He said he can't do it by himself. There were some friends. Wanaambia bro you can do it. Sawa. Shikilia. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Do it, do it. One, two, three. So the guy was putting alishtuka So instead of it coming here it went here Now this lower lip was reaching here He looked like a fish I'll go on a fish lips Akama always vanya He was looking like this but now the lip is even longer So can you imagine whistling? <laughs> Now in class the teacher will ask what happened. So he had to say that <laughs> he had to say that he was hit by a window. Then because they used a, a needle that is not sterilized, it became an infection. That was very fishy. Are we together? So don't mind high things. You know. Before before the world you wanted piercings. Do you know piercing is a is a pain mechanism. Look people who have pierced so much. They pierced when they were not okay. I know someone who pierced 5 like 6 or 12. 
when they were feeling low. That's why people cut themselves. So because some people cannot go to the extreme of cutting, they look for something that they will feel pain. So they go and pierce. Pierce everywhere. And other places will not mention. You go and tattoo your eye. When you are going to look for a job, your face Your prayer pressure will get a teardrop. <laughs> Minding high things. Because all those things you do so people, for people to see. Yeah. yeah. Don't mind high things. Tell neighbor, my neighbor. Don't mind high things. Don't desire high things. If you desire those things, they'll never come to you. But as you are serving the Lord, because we are following scripture. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. Decide to follow Jesus and all these things you want. They'll come to you. They'll come running. They'll follow you. You, when you chase after money, it will never come to you. Chase after girls, they will never come to you. You are so much fixed on your career that you've forgotten God. That's why you're barren. That's why you're bearing fruit so much concern about studies look we've been in church we've studied we've been given the the, the the secret of studying with past papers and we've passed if you can't come to church i have to study for my exam i have a cut as we come for camps and we even have a camp and we say as we come for the camp god i know you will sort my study but you 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 are you're so much into career you're so much into my boyfriend my girlfriend what will my boyfriend say? What will my girlfriend, my world, my everything? My queen, my king. You have matching hoodies, king, queen. His and hers. With no kingdom. Right now, we everywhere. Give your life to Christ. Tomorrow, tomorrow, tomorrow. Next week, tomorrow, next week. It's like you think that you have, you know what tomorrow will be. How tomorrow will be there rather. We don't know. The next hour, even the next minute, we are not assured. Are we together? Rise up on your feet. I have only done one point, and I had so many points, but we'll continue. We'll continue next Saturday by the grace of God. Lift up your hands and say, Father. You have to say it with power. Say, Father. I bind the spirit of laziness in my life. I don't want to be lazy. I don't want to be stagnant. Lord, I want to be a movement. I don't want to be a monument. As I clap my hands and pray, I am binding the spirit of laziness in my life. Open your mouth and bind the spirit of laziness. Everybody pray. Zama kamada la la ba, zama kamada la ba. Father, I bind the spirit of laziness in my life. I will not be lazy. Yes, I will not be a lazy man. Amen. A lazy woman. Yes. A lazy boy. A lazy girl. Yes. Zama kamada la la ba, zama kamada ba, zama kamada la la 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 ba. Zema kamada ba shema kamada la ba. Zema kamada ba mama 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 mama. I will not be lazy. Zema kamada la ba. Kanda ba da ba ba da. Zema kamada la ba. Zema kamada la ba. Zema kamada la ba. In Jesus' name, Amen. Lift up and say, Father, Father. The any sin of pride. The any sin of pride. Any sin of pride. Any sin of pride. In me. In me. Father, Father, as I clap my hands and pray, I pray that you may come and deal with it. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. The sin of pride, out of our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, come and 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 Rima, 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 Rima,
In Jesus' name, Amen. May laziness flee from your life. Amen. May pride flee, flee from your life. Amen. Bible says God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Hallelujah. Amen. Every head bow, every eye closed. Maybe you're here. You're saying, Pastor, I've never given my life to Christ. I want all these things, but I've never made the first decision of giving my life to Christ. Don't think about your neighbor. Don't think about us. We are actually happy for you that you will make this decision. So if you are here, as we clap our hands, you are here, you've never given your life to Christ. I want you to worship the devil and come and give your life to If, if there is anyone, you've never given your life to Christ, I want you to raise your hand and I'll pray for you. If there is anyone, don't let this moment pass you by. You are saying, Pastor, I want to give my life to Christ. I want to have a relationship with you. Is there anyone? Father, I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. Yes. That Lord, that is the spiritual sickness of laziness yes. shall not be their portion. Amen. The spiritual sickness of pride yes. they shall not be their portion. Amen. They shall bear fruit. Amen. They shall not be buried. Amen. They shall not be passing. Amen. But they shall be act- they shall be active. Amen. They shall do something in your house. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Any spirit of pomposity. Yes. That was in their lives. Yes. Oh Father, yes. in the spirit of humility, yes. come upon them. Holy Spirit, Amen. come and fill their lives. Amen. That we may be humble. Amen. Come and fill our lives, oh Father. Amen. Lord, we thank you. Yes. We give you all the glory. Yes. And we give you all the honor. Yes. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen.